Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate, welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a very untimely GUI inside Roblox Studio. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to do is click Replicate Storage, click Plus, and then add in a remote event. Then what we're going to be doing is renaming this remote event to Timer Remote Event, like this. Then once we have that, we can click Start a GUI. Click plus, add in a screen GUI, and then name the screen GUI to timer GUI. Inside of it, we can click plus, and then a text label, and then we can start customizing this. Okay, so I've just quickly made this label by changing the background color, and the size, and the font. So once you have that, we can rename this text label to timer label, and then is I'm just going to quickly change the text. So then what we're going to be doing now is click start the player, click this arrow and then you should see this new folder appear called start the character scripts. If you click that, click plus and then add in a local script and then name that local script to timer local script like that. And inside of it we can type in local player equals to game dot players dot local player then if we go down and type in local timer remote event equals to game dot replicate storage colon find first child two brackets and then speech marks and timer remote event if you go down then we can do local timer gui equals to player dot player gui dot timer gui and then go down then we can do local timer label equals to timer gui and then dot timer label and go down twice and then we can do timer remote event dot on client event colon connect brackets and function and then two more brackets, and then we can do timer, and then go down, and it should appear with a bracket, and then we can type in timer label dot text equals to, and then timer, go down, and then timer label dot visible equals to true, then go down, add in a wait one, once again go down, and then repeat event until and then in between these two lines we can do timer minus equals one go down and then timer label dot text equals to timer then wait one and then underneath this until we can go down and type in and then timer is less than or equals to zero and then we can go down once again and this time we can do timer label dot visible equals to false and that should be the script done if you want you can pause the video to write it all out then we'll close it off then before we carry on we need to click the timer label go down properties and make sure visible is unticked and then once you do that you shouldn't be able to see your GUI anymore and then if we click on service script service, click plus, add in a script, remove print hello world, then type in local timer remote event equals to game dot replicate storage colon find first child and then bracket speech marks and then timer remote event. Then if we go down twice, then if we add in a wait, so let's say we're going to be waiting eight seconds before the timer actually starts and then timer remote event colon fire all clients then brackets and then let's do five seconds go down add in a wait and then make sure this number in the wait matches this number here so you're always going to have to have a wait and this line here if you want you don't have to have this um, wait eight at the top 
but it's going to be added in for this video. Then close it off, click play. Then once we load in, after 8 seconds, then you can see that it appears, counts down from 5, and then when it reaches 0, then you can see that it disappears, like that. And guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server, and I'll see you later. Bye!